to another episode of City Skylines. So we're going to be tackling a couple uh, intersection issues today and hopefully we have some time to put down some more hotels and stuff like that uh, that can help with the um, industry and stuff. So this is one of the intersections that I wanted to put a roundabout and same with this one right here just so it's all set up and I don't know how many people are using this. How many? One person, 14 people just gone on. How many people are using this? 24. So quite a few people are probably using this tram system. We'll see how that turns out. But uh, one of the issues that I was having was uh, the traffic with these intersections. So I think putting a small roundabout in would probably help with that. Uh, what do we got here? We got, don't know what that warning is. Uh, goods are pulling are piling up in zone more commercial area uh, sell goods are we not exporting hmm okay you know what what I'm gonna end up doing is telling them to empty out that one and hopefully oh we have already 12 trucks in use Oof, um, we might need more storage, to tell you the truth. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind uh, in a little bit, but uh, it's good that we're producing so much wood, um, though we are importing some, so well, it's a little bit of concerning as well, so I'm not sure. There's just too much and it's backed up. Well, those icons are gone now, so who knows. Um, all right, so let's start working on that and we need to unzone some of this stuff. Let's move it back a little bit. About four, I think would probably do fine. And just to make sure we'll delete these and we'll delete those intersections and we'll set up a roundabout system. So Probably about that big, just a small one. Okay, I'm not sure if I got that one right. Those uh, snapping tools sometimes get in the way, so. Okay, and then we'll set up a I think there's a three way. Oh, we only have two lanes, so we only really need a.
So I think the next land that we're going to buy is probably this one over here. Uh, reason being is there's that rail and I don't think there's another rail for any direction that we can get over on this side. So at least I'm not seeing one uh, nearby. So we'll probably buy that one up. Uh, we do need to fix our logging industry up for a proper export system. So I figure what we'll end up doing is when we buy this up, we'll probably make a express route or something like that to, oh, we could actually probably fit it in right here, uh, rail export in this area maybe, or over on this side. So we would just need to get it past, um, that part there. Now I'm not sure if we buy that land, if we'll be able to get that. If we do, then we have all that section that we can purchase. Let's see what kind of resources are on that side. So we got some forestry. Uh, doesn't look like a whole bunch of resources compared to if we were to buy this direction. We have oil. So we could do that. We could have an oil industry over there. That's a pretty good chunk of oil too. We have some offshore oil there. Yeah. I think we'll buy that one because then we can also have that exit, control over the exit as well. So let's go ahead into that map and we'll buy this one. 9,000, that's not too bad. And then we can kind of figure out where we need our export system so we have access to rail now so let's just go to a rail thing we have a elevated train station train station cargo terminal that's what i want we'll see if we can't put it build an off ramp on this side i think uh, we'll do a Industry road, I think, will look good. Probably just a single one. And we'll build it off of that. And then we can set up the cargo export. And I just realized that I didn't have the right thing enabled. That feature is actually quite annoying. Um, this little tab here. There we go. And then we can go ahead and grab that. Put that over.
And so I created a little area because we're running really low on residential. I'm hoping that we can, we're losing actually quite a bit of money, right? So I, it's due to not having a resi enough residential. So a lot of our industry areas are suffering due to that. So what I ended up doing was just creating a uh, simple uh, place over here. We're just going to build it up with mostly like high rises and stuff like that. I'm hoping that will um, help a little bit. I also put an exit here. So hopefully we can divert some of the incoming traffic for this area um, to have it um, just make it a little easier of a route for them. Most of them will probably still decide to go this way, depending on the direction that they need to go. But um, actually, let's let's take a look at where these guys are going. And we can do that by, was it this one? No, that one, I think. So if we select that, we can see where all these are going. So these are all private vehicles. They're going all over the place, uh, mostly in this area over here. They're not really crossing over. Some uh, trucks are going over here, but not like a huge amount. So this is a really good setup for, at least now, for the um, commercial thing. I did put some hotel rental cabins in over here. We do have almost a full capacity for... Uh, the two requirements. It's at 75, the default price at the moment. So hopefully we're going to get a little bit of uh, income from these as well. Um, I'm trying to balance it out. The expenses is only like 128 per week. So we're getting about 172 at the moment. Uh, there is the Statue of Wealth that I put down too. So hopefully we can somehow integrate that somehow. We'll see if we can't put a park or something in as well. Let's see if we can't get that in. Oh, we still have the um, sports arena too that we need to figure out what to do with. Uh, what are all these? Uh, Bronze Plaza. Oh, we, yeah, that's right. We can put a whole bunch of those down too. Some of those are um, placeable. I'm not sure if all of them are placeable, like if we can place more than one, but... There are some things that we can place down there. Uh, let's see here. I kind of want a uh, park though. So let's see if we can't figure out a plaza or something. Maybe we can do a tourist spot. Uh, let's see here. Could just barely fit that in. I don't know what it is. Park with...
I unzoned a bunch of stuff, residential, and put in a little bit more high-rises. Uh, hopefully that will balance out some of the um, demand issues that we're having for industrial. But uh, we are starting to make a small profit now that the industrial is starting to pop back up. So that's good. Um, a lot of it's being produced locally now, which is a way better solution than what we had before. Uh, this is majority just like high-rise buildings. So we'll have to uh, figure out what we're going to do over here. I did put uh, a couple extra, well, I put the, what do you call it? The um, rental cabins in, hopefully that will help. And these ones, not sure. We're just waiting on some what do you call it? The office buildings. Hopefully that will pop up soon once we get this industry area stuff settled. Um, it will take a couple days to figure out where we need all the stuff. We can probably start building over here uh, next episode and see if we can't get some more residential housing and stuff up and going. Um, outside of that, I did put in a metal plant, uh, steel plant, so we can produce a little bit more income. Hopefully that will help a little bit more at the moment. We're making a little bit of a profit, not a huge month, not a huge bunch, but, um, you know, still something we're overturning the expenses, which is perfect. So hopefully that will help a little bit more. And I put a pumping station in because I ended up flooding the entire thing. So, <laughs> cause I needed to fill out this area. So outside of that, that's basically all I've done. I was, um, I got those roundabouts in, worked on the zoning a little bit, upgraded some of the buildings. So hopefully that will help with uh, future. We're still hemorrhaging some of the money. Uh, it, it comes and it goes uh, so hopefully it will start to turn around and we'll get some more industry area and stuff uh, Settled, but uh, we'll see how it all turns out in the next couple days So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out <music>